Welcome back to our comprehensive video series on Regulation B. In this video, we will delve into Section 3, which focuses on adverse action notices. Understanding this important aspect of credit regulation is crucial for both creditors and consumers. So, let's jump right in. Section 3 of Regulation B outlines the requirements and responsibilities surrounding adverse action notices. These notices play a crucial role in maintaining transparency and ensuring that consumers are informed about credit decisions. Let's explore the key components of adverse action notices in detail. The primary purpose of adverse action notices is to inform applicants or existing credit customers about unfavorable credit decisions made by the creditor. An adverse action can include a rejection of credit, termination or downgrading of an existing account, or even changing the terms of the credit arrangement unfavorably. Under Regulation B, creditors have certain obligations when it comes to providing adverse action notices. These requirements are designed to protect consumers and ensure transparency. A creditor must provide adverse action notices promptly after making an unfavorable credit decision. This allows applicants or customers to understand the reasons behind the decision and take appropriate action if necessary. Regulation B allows creditors to provide adverse action notices either orally or in writing. However, written notices are generally recommended, as they provide a documented record for the creditor and the consumer. Adverse action notices must include specific information to ensure the consumer understands the decision and the reasons behind it. Let's explore the key elements that should be included. The notice should state that the adverse action has been taken based, in whole or in part, on information obtained from a consumer report. It should also provide the name, address, and phone number of the credit reporting agency involved. The adverse action notice should include specific factors or reasons that contributed to the adverse action. This allows the consumer to identify potential areas of improvement or dispute any inaccurate information. Creditors are required to inform consumers about their rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, including the ability to request a free copy of their credit report and dispute inaccurate information with the credit reporting agencies. Providing contact information for the creditor enables consumers to seek clarification or challenge the decision if they believe it was made on discriminatory grounds or based on inaccurate information. Failure by creditors to comply with the adverse action notice requirements can result in significant penalties, including fines and damages. It's crucial for consumers to be aware of their rights regarding adverse action notices. It helps them stay informed, take necessary actions, and even improve their creditworthiness in the future. Section 3 of Regulation B has shed light on the vital role played by adverse action notices in providing transparency and protecting consumers. By complying with the notification requirements, creditors empower individuals to make informed decisions and take appropriate steps to positively impact their credit standing. Thank you for joining us for this extensive video on Section 3 of Regulation B. We hope this information has helped you gain a deeper understanding of adverse action notices and their significance. Stay tuned for our next video, where we will explore another essential aspect of this regulation. Happy learning!